How in the bloody hell are you all? I hope extremely well. Okay. Um, so when I was going through the footage for the last video, I forgot to do something here. <sighs> Damn it. I have to go back. I need the lighter. I thought I was being clever here. Alright, might as well do this on camera. Uh, which one? It's behind me. I'm gonna go in there. I think there's zombies in that other one. I'm never going back in there again, so it's okay. Alright. So, if you get the light up, it's such a dumb move. Alright, uh. Where is it? There it is. I read online the, um, I'm gonna have to look it up, the self-defense gun, it's a single shot kill apparently, so does that mean it single shot kills enemy, uh, bosses as well as just regular enemies? Because if it does, that'd be amazing. Lamp, okay. Yes. Alright, so. Alright. Alright, so green is uh, zero. I think it's zero. So it should be like zero, one, two. This is for a code for later on. Should be like two. This is for like later on, we're gonna make something for a fight. Okay, so green, orange, red. Six, five, three. Alright, six, five, three. I'm just gonna remember that. Oh, um. After the last video um, was recorded, I actually went and had lunch, and I had um, salt, and vinegar, salt and vinegar chicken tenders with uh, wedges, and I slathered that in gravy, and uh, with a sprinkling of vinegar on it, and my god, love it. So what's the, here's a good question, what is your favorite sort of um, winter comfort food that's maybe a little bit weird? Because wedges and gravy always goes down a treat here, for me at least. Um, Alright, so hang on. That door is still locked, I think. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, I need a key for that. I'm not getting that map. Alright, hopefully there's nothing... On Nothing in here that's going to attack me, I can't remember if there was. Okay, there isn't good. Yep, go down the ladder. Nice. Okay. Wait, is that? No, I thought it was shotgun shells back there. Alright, so... Push this one first. Okay. I hope you didn't screw this one up. Probably I did. That uh, similar puzzle from Resident Evil Zero was no, 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 don't go that way. Uh, similar puzzle, sort of, uh, from Resident Evil Zero was kind of annoying. Um, where uh, there was what do you call it? You had boxes you had to move, and there was like an an auger or something that was going to mix the water, and uh, you had to do it in a certain way. You had to move the boxes. 
in the right sequence and you know drain the water and all that that was kind of tedious I've kind of forgot how to I did that one originally but I did it okay I need to screw this one and go oh green herb uh Should I... No, I'll leave it. I know it's there at least. Alright, um... Be faster without it. <coughs> I am kind of taking it a bit slow with this one. Because... Um... Just, I haven't been feeling the greatest lately, because I'm just... I'm up from midnight till about 8, 9 a.m. Kiss off. Ah, ah, you mother... I might have really hurt. Whoa. Yeah, get rid of it. Bloody sharks. Barrel. Uh, warning light indicates there's an emergency. Right. Love these um, camera angles, they're awesome. Alright. Yes, I'm going to take that. Oh, a foot went through it, that was kind of odd. Um, salmon. Spray. No, oh, herbs. Mix of two green herbs. So pretty much what I just lost. Alright, um... Okay. The door is held tightly by water pressure. Okay. I, I know, no, it's not, I know that's not what it said, but that's like my interpretation of what it was. Okay. Wait, wait, can I go behind the desk there? Map the aqua ring, take it, yep. Okay. Got the map. Oh, I didn't even know I could go back there. Caution, in case a drop of oil pressure control, open valve number one. Okay. Um... Just check controls for the main system. Everything seems to be working on it. Okay, so valve number one, hang on. Oil pressure regulator. Nope. Alright. Press the shelter. Alright. Pressure shelter, okay. Where is it? There's a button around here. Is that it? Okay. Yes. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Yep. 
okay, yep. I'm gonna die. Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. Ah! The f yep. Was that big enough? Yes. Upstairs. Oh, where do I go? Is that it? Door appears to be locked. Yes. Alright. Sorry about that. I was panicking like anything. Alright, the water has been completely drained. Okay. Um, so there should be stuff out here, I think. It's not on my door. Okay, it's not. What's that? Ooh! Hell yeah. Uh anything else? No, the area is green. Okay, hang on. Let's see what's the other way. Shells. Nice. Okay. Uh, Alright, they're green. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Do I want to go that way or the other way? Alright, so hang on. Okay, let's go that way. It's going to take me into a room. Oh wait. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Jesus. No, he's not gonna wake up. Is there something in the water? Hey, what is that? Something in the water. Oh, I know how to deal with you. Yep. Deep sixth. Uh, do I have to turn the switch off? No. Okay, sweet. What is it? Gallery key. Alright, I'll have to come back for that. Okay. Damn, fucking shark. 
Alright. Go back to the other way and see what's up with the other ladder. I went the wrong way. Uh, not that way, down the hallway, man. Yep, that's it. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Long a gale over here in uh, where I live right now. It's crazy. Um, yeah, we're getting some really wild winds here lately. It's just insane. Okay. Oh, awesome. Okay, that's a quick way back. Plus, also, you know, I've got rid of my, um... What do you call it? Uh, I'm going to pause the recording, I'm just going to go back and dump a bunch of stuff and I'll catch you in a sec, see you in two seconds. Alright, I dumped this, uh, what I didn't need. Um, as I came through this door, this red head woke up, uh, crimson head woke up, so um, I'll take care of him. Just wait. Alright. I'm fine for now. Okay, we'll uh, combine that. Yep, he's dead. Alright, back down the hole. Yeah, as I was running through, <laughs> back after I stopped recording, he like, I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna deal with him now. Um, let's just make sure that this is like inaccessible. Yeah, because we drained the water and it's gone. Alright. Okay. Gotta say, I'm really uh, enjoying this remake. Um, I did play it for a while back in the day when I first had the Wii version but I, I got stuck on a part and I was like ah oh, I'll move on to something else and I started Resident Evil 4 and I was like okay cool then I got stuck on a part of that it was um the U3 fight or whatever it was that um it's behind me I think that's the only thing in, in here is the gallery key. Let's get rid of the shotgun for now. I don't think it can get me. And oh wow, Neptune's gone. Yep. Alright, sweet. There's all that's all there was in here. Alright, so we'll go up the other way, back up through the control room. I hope you're going to attack me. It still perplexes the hell out of me how we've had how many Resident Evil like live, live action movies and so far one live action Resident Evil TV series and they always keep missing the mark when it comes to um, getting the concept of behind of transitioning from game to screen, do you know what I mean? Like, it's so frustrating because the story is there, the characters are there, um, I don't understand how the transition is so hard, okay, yeah, sure, maybe some of this running around and whatnot, you don't need to do on camera, that's fine, you can streamline the story that way, I mean, so I've seen people online say, use the, uh, S.D. Perry novels, oh, it was a shock there. use the S.D. Perry novels as, um, a guide to write the story and, you know, get a good feel for what's happening. Because I've, I've listened to the, all the audiobook versions for the S.D. Perry novels, and um, they're pretty decent. 
and they give a, a bit more backstory too for certain things and certain characters. Just get that herb. Yep, I'm gonna use that now because um, I got attacked by the redhead or the crimson head. I keep saying redhead. I mean, technically, its head is red, but yeah. Let's just have a look over here. Nothing. Alright. Okay, go this way. It's in here. Okay. Avoid that. Okay. Um. So hang on. Just make sure I know what's. All right. So there's nothing in that room except for those roots. Cool. Alright, um, that damn shark. There had to be that one shark that's in there. Alright, I'm gonna pause the recording and when we get back to the gallery, uh, that's where we'll catch up. So, see you in a sec. Okay, we're back here. Um, not entirely sure if I remember this, so, let's see what happens. Yes. That was a weird looking key for a door like that. Oh, okay. Yep, I'll take it. Whoa! Shh. Um... Damn. Alright, hang on. Through the door, there's another door. And another door, they're both locked. Oh god, what did I say? Um, the code was 563. Uh, two seconds, I'll pause the recording. I'm gonna just check the footage to make sure what the um code I said was. See you in a sec. Okay, so I think it's 653. Um, I'm going to go in there and see if we can get past these bees to get to the door. Hopefully I don't get stung uh, while that's happening. Five. Six. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, okay. Five. Oh, okay. I just... Go, go, go! Jesus. Alright. Uh, okay. So, how many spaces do I need? Okay, I guess I need three. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Uh, okay, hang on. There's something written on the wall. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. Alright, so hang on. What? Yellow is 6. Ah! Uh, damn it. All right. All right. Um, is there supposed to be a note or something here? Uh, 
Alright, um. Damn it. My timer just ran out. So. Alright, so that's three. Alright, I'm gonna have to work this off camera. Um, I'm gonna pull, uh, in the recording, go back and dump probably the shotgun shells for now. And then work out how I'm gonna do this. So, uh, have a good way. Stay cool, stay chill, stay safe, be awesome. And I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.